51-year-old Orsaya Gall's body was found in a duffel bag on the side of the road near Queens Park Saturday morning. Police following a blood trail back to her house. Investigators say Gall was stabbed some 60 times in her home, one of her sons upstairs. Her older son and husband out of town looking at colleges. Neighbors shocked by the horrific murder. Never expected anything like that to happen. She was a lovely lady, always very attentive to her family, her kids. She's an amazing person. Police say the killer... of Ursula Gall. Ursula Gall was born in 1971 in Budapest, Hungary. Ursula attended Budapest Business School and majored in international management and business. It was there a short time after she would meet her husband, Howard Klein. Howard was stationed in Budapest at the time, working through a financial company from the U.S. The two migrated back to the U.S. together and married a short time after. Over the years, Ursula became a mom to two beautiful young boys and she was also a stay-at-home mom. In her spare time, she loved to travel and go to musical concert with friends. On Good Friday, April the 15, 2022, Ursula neighbor John Blackston saw her in her backyard with her dog Teddy. Later that evening, Ursula attended did a concert at the Lincoln Center in New York City with a group of friends. Her youngest son, Leo, which, who was 13 at the time, stayed home. Ursula's husband and son, Jamie, 17, were reportedly in Oregon looking at colleges for him to attend after he graduated from high school. Ursula was overjoyed that evening as she saw one of her favorite composers at the Lincoln Center. Later on, after the concert, she went to the Station House Bar near Forest Hill, where she ordered Moscow Mule Cocktail. She stayed for around 45 minutes, then went home. The bar manager, Gabe, recalled. Ursula reached home around 12 a.m., April the 16th, 2022. Later that morning, on April 16th, a man, later identified as Glenn Van Nordstrand, 51, stumbles across a bag after his two dogs are drawn to the scent. Mr. Van Nordstrand told the New York Post he looked inside and thought it might have been a mannequin at first. He quickly realized it was a body and called 911 at 8.11 a.m. When police arrived, there was no ID on the body. So the police allowed their cadaver dogs to trace the blood. The cadaver dogs led the police back to a quiet neighborhood in Forest Hill, Queens. That's when the victim was identified as Ursula Gall. When police arrived at the home belonging to Ursula Gall and her husband, Howard Klein, they found her youngest son, Leo, on the third floor sleeping. Leo was arrested and taken in for questioning. Leo was released later on that day to a family member. Ursula neighbors in the well-to-do Queens, New York community was scared. They didn't know what was happening. Nothing like that had ever happened in their community before. And they were all worried that there was a murderer out there on the loose. When Ursula's husband, Howard Klein, returned back to their Forest Hill, Queens neighborhood, he reported to the police that he received a message and that the message had came through Ursula phone. The text message warned that the whole family was next in line to be killed and that Ursula made him go to prison. The unknown text message stated, 
On Monday, April 18, 2022, police returned to Ursula Forest Hill home, removing an iMac computer and several bags of evidence. The medical examiner later confirmed that Ursula died from sharp force injuries to her neck. Ursula was stabbed over 50 times in her torso, neck, and arms. She suffered defense wound to her palm and fingers. The ferocity of the attack leads law enforcement to immediately suspect that it was carried out by someone who knew her. While searching for evidence, the police canvassed the Forest Hill neighborhood, putting up flyers for a $3,500 reward on whoever had information about Ursula's death. A law enforcement told the New York Post that he did not think that Ursula murder was a planned murder because the killer had left so many evidence behind, so many blood stains. Whoever killed her was in a rush and forgot to clearly clean up after themselves. That's why police believe that it was a heat of the moment crime. During this time, looking for evidence, Ursula Electrician came forward and told police that there were surveillance camera throughout the home and perhaps that would give police the clue that they needed to find Ursula murderer. As police reviewed the cameras, they saw unidentified man at the time pulling a large duffel bag away from Mrs. Ursula home and down the street. That duffel bag belonged to her son and eventually Actually, that's where the unidentified man left Orsol body in the park. Police brought in digital specialists to look at the camera and the man in question on the camera was identified as David Banola, 44, a Mexican immigrant and also an Andaman to Orsola and her husband Howard Klein. Police began the search for Banola but they didn't have to search for him too long. On Wednesday, April the 20th, 2022, Mr. Bonola reportedly just walked up to a detective car around 11.30 a.m. and said, I heard you are looking for me. He was transported to the 112th precinct where he was questioned and then ultimately arrested. Bonola allegedly made a full confession to police. He said he had previously done work at Ursula home and knew where to find the key. He said it allowed allowed him to slip into the house and stab Ursula to death without alerting her 13 year old son who was upstairs. Bonola was charged with second degree murder, possession of a weapon, and criminal tampering. During Bonola interview with the police, it was discovered that Ursula was having an affair with Bonola for two years on and off. And at the time of her murder, the two had gotten into a heated argument. And that was what led Bonola to stab Ursula over 50 times. Ursula wanted to end the relationship. Bonola got upset somewhere in the midst of the argument, so much so that he became brutally violent stuffed her body in a duffel bag and carried it nine blocks away and left her body right there in a park. On November 2022, David Bonola was sentenced to 25 years in prison for the murder of Ursula Gal. Our prayers and our deepest condolences goes out to Ursula's sons and her husband that she left behind. May her soul continue to rest in peace. Until next time on The Meaningful talk crime doc don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will catch up with you guys later in the comment section